Hi, it's Mark from Top Local Lead Generation. We're here with Mr. Bernie Pollock of the Pollock Automotive. They basically win Vancouver's best auto repair every year. Uh, Bernie, how are you doing today? I'm doing really well. So 16 time winners now, and we're gonna talk about disc brakes, what parts need to be replaced. So brake pads need to be replaced, but is that all that needs to be replaced in brakes? No, there's a lot more to disc brakes than just the pads, although frequently people, you know, associate uh, brake pad replacement with, with the item to, to uh, do. And, uh, I mean, there's a number of reasons. It's the most commonly known part, and even some fancy European cars, they'll actually have a dash display that'll tell you your brake pads are worn out. So uh, brake pads are just part of it. I'm going to go get show a picture of a, a full disc brake system here so we can see what uh, is involved with replacement and should be looking at the picture now or are we mark yep okay so there's a, a picture uh, I pulled off the internet compliments of Brown's alignment which I believe is in North Carolina just to give them credit um, this is a picture of an illustration of a disc brake system and the brake pads you can see on the bottom right corner they've put arrows and marked the brake pads and what these do is they squeeze against, uh, they are squeezed against the brake rotor. This is a big disc that rotates with your wheel, uh, where it's in the illustration where it shows wheel studs, that is where your wheel bolts onto the car. So the brake rotor is rotating with the wheel, the pads squeeze against the brake rotor, and they're squeezed by the brake caliper, uh, which is indicated uh, just sort of halfway up the picture on the right hand side. Uh, inside the brake caliper, there's a piston that's uh, uh, a piston, that's, this is a simple brake caliper, it just has one piston, and it squeezes against the brake pads. There are a couple of parts that aren't marked here. There's slider pins, uh, which are just, um, you can see sort of a hollow section just uh, at the top of the brake caliper with a, a silver rod going through it. That's, that's the slider pin, and those are a critical part of the brake system, which I'll talk about later as well. But um, anyway, so there's the caliper, the pads, and the rotors, which rotate with the wheels. So. The pads wear out. They're they're a softer material. They're friction, softer friction type material. A lot of engineering goes into the brake pads to to uh, eliminate squeaks and squeals and and cause the right kind of braking grab. So that's that's the brake pads. Um, rotors do wear as well. Um, so rotors generally need to either be replaced along with the brake pads or machined. But most of the time, probably ninety five percent of the time, the rotors get replaced because they tend to wear quite quite uh, quickly along with the brake pads. Modern brake pads are made of a very hard material and they tend to wear out the rotors. Uh, can I, so I guess I can't just change the pads then? Well, the answer is if you're doing your own brake job, you can pretty much do anything you want. But uh, what goes into a quality brake job is, is, is assessing the condition of everything. As, when the pads wear out, it's important to measure the rotors uh, there's a certain specification to how thick the rotors are allowed to be. Uh, but if there's any wear grooves in the rotors, which there, again, 90, 98% of the time there is, the brake pads don't sit properly when you put them in. Yes, you can put them in and they'll work, but they won't work as well as they could, and they won't last as long as they should. And it leaves a lot of possibilities of squeaks, squeals, grinding noises as well. Um, the brake calipers also uh, do need service from time to time. and uh, you know, again, these, you know, depending on the condition of the vehicle, when it's newer, they generally don't give any concern. But when it's older, there, there can be problems with the brake calipers too, which can uh, impede you just changing the brake pads. So a quality brake job requires servicing and repla and or replacing the rotors as well. So how often do the calipers need replacement? Well, that really depends on the vehicle. Um, Generally, I, I like to think that the calipers are good for two or three brake jobs. Um, there are some shops that replace calipers every time they do brakes. I mean, there's a theory that you know the, the heat generated by the brakes tends to harden the rubber and the caliper pistons, and you know cause that you know cause that uh, to you know be a liability to need replacement. And it's it's maybe not a bad idea, but it adds a lot of cost to a brake job. And we've just found in our experience that calipers tend to last quite a lot longer. Also, on some imported vehicles, you take like an AMG Mercedes. I mean, a brake caliper could be a thousand bucks, and it really wouldn't. And, and also, a difficult part to find, so it really isn't justified to replace it, uh, except if it's worn out. Now, what happens to brake calipers is, is two things: because there's a moving piston, 
the piston will seize up. There's uh, brake fluid behind the piston, which has an affinity to water. If any moisture gets in there, it'll rust up and seize up. So that's a, a common problem with calipers. Also, the slider pins that I talked to about earlier, uh, if it has that, there are different designs of calipers, but if it has slider pins, uh, these ten, these can seize up as well. Moisture can get in and cause them to seize up. So when we do a brake, uh, when we do a brake pad uh, service or brake rotor and pad replacement, we always take the caliper sliders apart. We clean and lubricate everything because the last thing you want is that to seize up sometime down the road. You want your brakes to last as long as possible. Uh, one that brings me to another thing too. Sometimes we talk about what parts need to be replaced in a, in a disc brake job. Sometimes you'll get a, a shake in your brakes. You put the brake uh, pedal on and the steering wheel will start shaking or the car will vibrate. Usually this is caused by warped front brake rotors and it's not an uncommon issue. Now if the brake pads are really thick, say they're six millimeters or thicker, you can often get away with just replacing the brake rotors because the pads have still got a, a couple of years of life left in them. Again, it's a, an assessed type of thing. We need to look at it and see. But if, if the pads are good, just changing the rotors in this case can be a good thing to do. And I think that pretty much covers us for disc brake replacements. So if you're looking for brake repairs, uh, brake maintenance, you just want to make sure you're going to stop. Give Bernie a call at Pollock Automotive, 604-327-7112 in Vancouver. Or check out their website, pollockautomotive.com. Thanks, Bernie. Thanks, Mark.